Hey everybody, DJ Porkchop back with you once again in the house. It's hot outside. <clears throat> Pardon. Since I got my throat operated on, I'm having a hard time tolerating heat and it is hot outside. We're, we're, we're well into the 90s today. I want to talk about, <clears throat> give you my thoughts about the Fox Peed TENS unit. It's a mini massager is what it comes in the box labeled as. On the website we saw that it's labeled as a TENS unit. I want to give you the pros. The pros is its design. It's sleek, slender, That would easily fit in a shirt pocket, a breast pocket. Um, the, the leads, which I got here somewhere, probably in a box. I don't feel like digging for them. The leads, <coughs> pardon me, I'm so sorry. The leads are lengthy, which most of the time I kind of nag about on certain things because they tend to get in the way but sometimes companies want to give you cords that are this long leads that are this long and it's they're way too short in this case um, what Fox Pete instructed me to not use this device because in the owner's manual it says if you have cancer do not use this device so they instructed me not to what I did do after I had my independent person use this device and give me their opinion of it, which I'll go over with you here in a brief moment. Um, I went ahead and applied this. I had my wife apply the sticky patches to my back, and I applied another set to my arms, and I stuck this in my pocket, and not a once was I bogged down by leads because the leads were long enough that it did not hinder my movement at all due to short leads. The leads they give you are excellent for this product. If I wanted to stick this in my back pocket once again I don't believe the leads would be cumbersome or in the way of anything that I wanted to do or needed to get done. They do have a nice Velcro uh, strap around them, so that in case you ha they're too long or going to get in the way of something you're doing, just kind of wrap them up a little bit and wrap that Velcro around them. Cinch them up, get them out of your way, tuck this baby in your back pocket, in the breast pocket, or use the lanyard, put it around your wrist, and off you go. So those are a couple pros that I really do like about this. Another thing I really like about the Foxpeed Mini Massager slash TENS unit is the fact of the screen. I know it doesn't transfer well on the cell phone. Not at all. My apologies. But... I have like uh, Graves disease eyes, diabetic eyes, and uh, when that thing is blue, I can see it not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Um, I don't have to search for my glasses. If, if I forget my glasses at home and I have this, I have no, no fear at all that I wouldn't be able to use it. I, I could use it if I really needed to. I would be able to see. I wouldn't be able to read my owner's manual without my glasses, but this I would be able to see. Um, I've read other reviews where people said they couldn't figure this thing out. It took me like two whole minutes of reading that manual to figure this thing out. It This thing is super simple to figure out how to use. They they're be, be Between the pictures that they provide... 
I mean, in the, the mode, it's got an M for mode, and the arrows, there's no way you can get it wrong. You just can't. Um, you just can't. I like the fact that I can charge it via USB. I can just plug it in the computer or whatever and give it a charge. Uh, I don't have to fiddle around with running to the store and buying batteries. All that good jazz. I don't have to do that. <clears throat> What's another thing? Um, the pads, they were pretty super sticky. They worked really good. I didn't have no problem with those. And once again, I didn't use the product. I just placed the pads to test the how cumbersome the leads would be or if they were too short, as I suggested that I actually did. Um... The, there's a couple things that I did not care about this thing myself personally I really wished I would have got to use it to tr there's an asterisk in that when I say that and I'll get to that here in a second um, this thing came shipped in this box I took some notes on here by the way And when it when it got here, it was in this box, in this box with no packing peanuts, no styrofoam, no nothing. This was just rattling around loose in this box. Poor packaging. I don't know who's responsible for that. If it was Amazon or the company themselves or who. That was I mean, at least packaging peanuts would have made me feel a little better. I, but it is what it is. Um, the lanyard that comes with it, it's not elasticy. It's rub. It's more. It's rubber, and it's loose. If I was jogging or something, which this old boy don't do, um, I would be concerned. I would fall right off my hand if I. I got great big giant hands and wrists so it would not be that big of a concern for me but a smaller framed person or petite women or somebody that might be a concern um, and the biggest drawback of all this thing overstimulates horribly horribly bad horribly bad I have one, a TENS unit that I've had for, I don't, like, uh, 10 years plus. Um, this thing was a few hundred dollars, three or four hundred bucks. Uh, this, it's like operating a computer. And there's a learning curve a mile wide with that thing. Um, but when you hook it up to you, it's silky smooth. The, the stimulation is silky smooth. Uh, you never feel overstimulated. Never feel worn down. Uh, it's fantastic. Before I was diagnosed with cancer, I did hook this up to myself. I didn't know that I had cancer at the time. Uh, so me hooking this up to myself was not Fox Pete's fault. And it was not my fault. I just plain old did not know. So I did just a, hooked it up to my arm and my hand. Just to give it a quick little try before I tried it on my back or my hand or my uh, legs or anything. And... Uh, it's, it, this thing has a meter on it. I couldn't even turn it up to like one. One little not, uh, bar. If I hit the second bar, my thumb was like involuntarily jerking. You could see my fingers doing one of these. That was crazy. Um, I might have a clip or two of that uh, that I'll include in this video. Um... 
Now, my person that I had tried this, that I told the company that I could rely on their opinion 100%. They felt the same way I did about the sleek design. They really liked the sleek design. Uh, I wish mine that I got years and years ago was more like this one. The one I got is more like an old pager from back in the early 90s when big doctor pagers, you know, it, was, it just, it's bigger. It, it, more cumbersome to carry around with I really would I could carry that one around but I really wouldn't want to right this one it wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit to carry around but uh <clears throat> that my uh person I had tested this for me they felt the same exact way that the stimulation rate on this was just far too much um I think they took it a little better than what I did but in the end, they thought it was far too much as well. I didn't have them test my personal one first. I did have them use this one. So that way there was no biased opinion. Um, this one here you can use. It has 20 hours continuous use. I don't know why you would do that, but it does. No more than 20 minutes per location, twice per day for the same location. Uh, so said person went ahead and tried it, and they this person just couldn't do. I was going to give it to them if they really wanted it. I was going to give it to them, but uh, they said they couldn't do it. Um, they really wanted to be able to, but they just couldn't. They couldn't find a setting that worked for them. Um, maybe you can. It's a fantastic little design, but I firmly believe the overstimulation is way, way too much. Um, now, be that as that may, I have what, if anybody's viewing that's on my channel regularly, I, I have a spinal cord stimulator in my back um, that I can crank up and down at will, and I really do get myself cranked up heavy some days when my back is really feeling rough, and it literally feels like I'm sitting in one of them chairs at the mall that just vibrate the holy hell right out of you. I'm talking strong, and... Uh, it's implanted inside my body and that stimulation is nothing compared to what this little guy can do that's something you're into and something you can handle give our friends at Fox P to try check them out can I recommend this product I wasn't able to I personally was not able to actually give it a try long enough to to form a recommendation I wasn't um, due to the like I say I talked to the company and they were right they said no don't use it um, design and everything all the pros I gave fantastic fantastic little device the one little bitty moment that I was able to attach to my hand prior to me getting my diagnosis that overstimulation was so bad I would not use it but 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 don't, don't let that deter you from giving it a try. You know what I'm saying? Don't. I what? But I can't give you a, va a valid uh, one way or the other. I just can't do it. I didn't get a chance to hook it up to my back, my legs, or nothing. So, therefore, it's not a fair review of the usage itself. Only review I can give you that's fair is the design, the contents, and the packaging. Um, mystery user that I had tried out for me said the same thing the overstimulation was horrible uh, not not horrible just way too much so with that I'm going to get out of here I'm going to drop a link to their website 
as well as to where you can purchase this on Amazon. It is not an affiliate link. I will not be getting paid for you clicking links. Fox P did not pay me for this video. They sent me this. If I can figure out a way for some lucky viewer to own this, I will. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. It's brand honking new. Still has the plastic on the back. Still has the plastic on the front. I'm more than willing to give it away just to say that I did not get paid to make this video. With that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm over to 15 minute mark. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I'll catch up with y'all. Take care of yourself and everyone around you. Later on.